everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I'm super excited to bring you guys this silver glitter cut crease makeup look. So if you guys want to see how I achieved the look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first product that I went in with is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer and I just used this as an eyeshadow primer. So I just applied it all over my eyelid and then I blended it with a damp beauty sponge. And then I set everything with translucent powder and that just makes blending eyeshadows a lot easier. The palette that I went in with is the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a lot of cool tones. But I feel like it is really fall appropriate, so I've been loving this palette recently. And the first shade that I went in with is Trip, which is a really light brown matte shade. And I just picked that up with a fluffy blending brush and I just put that shade in my crease as my transition shade. Next, I went in with the shade Stone Age, which is a little more of a blush toned um, matte shade. And I just picked that up with a defined angled brush. And I just put that in my crease where I want to add definition. And I flicked it out in the outer corner to create more of a winged effect. And then I went in with the same transition shade that we first used. And I just went directly over that line, just going in circular motions and back and forth motions just to really blend it out. Because even though we want the crease to be nice and defined, we still want it to be blended. And because I wanted to make this kind of a soft cut crease, I didn't want to go too dark in the crease color. And the next thing that I did was I applied some concealer to my lid just to clean up that space and then I set it with translucent powder. And for the lid, I went in with the shade Magnetic Moon, which is this really beautiful foiled silver shade. And I just packed that all over my lid. The shade was super, super pigmented and I really, really love how it looked. I've, I'm probably going to be using this silver shadow for a lot of my silver looks just because I was super impressed with it. And then I decided to add a glitter to my lid, so I went in with the ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter in the shade Star Party. I'm not going to lie, you guys, I don't see these Glitterly Obsessed glitters on ColourPop's website anymore, but I still use them. I don't know if they are recommended to use on the eye because they do say body glitter, but I find them to be really beautiful on the eye, so I still use it and it doesn't give me any irritation. For lashes, I went in with Sophie Bella Lashes. Unfortunately, these are discontinued. I need to find new lashes that I can share with you guys that are available. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be using Sophie Bella Lashes. I hope you guys don't mind. But the last thing that I did was I applied some lower lash mascara just to finish off the look. I did want to leave it super wearable and light so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one